Sometimes you may land and houses may look fuzzy or blurry, and that's usually because your textures aren't set up correctly or you're not giving enough power to the game itself. So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly the settings to set up so you can give a little extra of your machine to the game and have those houses look more detailed and not just the houses, but every structure around you. So it's important to follow this step-by-step, -step, especially the beginning to make sure we don't make any mistakes. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you exactly what we wanna do. First thing we wanna do is go to your start button and then go ahead and choose settings. Here we're gonna go ahead and choose gaming. Once we choose gaming, it's gonna bring you in here. You might not see the option we're looking for. We're gonna make the window larger to the right to make sure it shows up. And you should see related settings, graphic settings. Go ahead and choose that. This is what is gonna make things priority higher. So we're gonna go ahead and choose browse. Now I'm already at this location. I'll put this down below, but basically the path is right here. You go in your C drive, if that's your default drive, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Games, Binary, Win64. So what we're gonna do is choose the first one, which is shipping.exe, and go ahead and choose add. Once this comes up, we're gonna go ahead and choose options. And then here, currently Windows decides how important Fortnite is. We don't want that, we want Fortnite to be high performance. So we're gonna go ahead and choose high performance here, and we're gonna go ahead and choose save. Now this is gonna allow it to always be high performance. It's a good idea to make sure all of these are set to high. The first one is the main one, but while we're in here, let's go ahead and just choose them all and set them all to high. And every little bit counts. We'll not worry about the launcher though. Just the first, just the shipping ones. So now that we have that in here, now these programs, anytime they are used, the PC is going to say, this is a priority. It gets the machine more than anything else that comes up. If you're a streamer, you may want to also add your streaming service in here as well. Since I am, let's go ahead and find that and we will add that too. So for me, it's going to be browse. We're going to go back to program files. And for me, it's OBS. Bin 64 and then OBS 64. We'll go ahead and choose add that. We'll choose options and we'll choose high performance. If you don't stream, don't worry about that step. Go to the next. Now that we got that set up, let's get into the game and make sure we get the settings set up correctly. Now that we're in Fortnite, what we wanna do is go ahead and choose the lines up here and go ahead and choose settings. Wanna make sure this stuff is set up correctly. If you can, instead of Windows, just put this full screen. Your frame rate's very important for this. You wanna put it just above what your monitor can handle. So I have a 240 monitor, so I can go pretty high, but 200 seems more stable for me. Most people view a normal monitor, it's just gonna be 60 Hertz, which is 60 FPS. You could always bump it up one notch if you want. So you could put it at 120 if you'd like. A lot of people will be at the 120 area. After that, something else that's very important is down here, which is textures. You'll notice mine are on Epic. Now, textures are used through your GPU, which is your graphics card. So if you have a graphics card, you can move this up, not up to Epic, but maybe medium or high. This will help your textures in game. Now keep in mind, if you don't have a graphics card and your computer has an integrated graphics card, you're not gonna be able to move this that high. You're probably gonna have to keep it on low. You may even need to run the system in performance mode. And that's just how it's going to be. In the future, if you look to upgrade your computer, make sure you get one with a graphics card that's not integrated. That way you can boost this up a bit. And now you should be able to run it. I would try restarting a computer if you need to. If it has any problems, make sure you do that. If you are not on PC and you're on PS4, I do have a video for that too. I'll go ahead and put it here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you over in the next one.